In this demo, you'll receive a high-level overview of several ways that you can leverage data and databases inside your CI-CD pipeline. This demo leverages several different products in order to achieve the full story we're going to show. In order to migrate data between two Kubernetes clusters so that we can test with production data in a pre-production environment, we will use Portworks by Pure Storage. In order to deploy changes to our database schema, we will leverage Harness Database DevOps. Similarly, we will deploy a new version of our application that depends on these database changes using Harness Continuous Delivery. Lastly, in order to monitor the health of our database throughout the CI-CD process, we will leverage DBMarlin, a database monitoring solution that cleanly integrates with Harness to provide visibility into any changes that Harness applies, and which can correlate those changes back to your monitoring data. For this demo, I have a real-world application that tracks the inventory of my fictional barbecue restaurant chain. The inventory is tracked by location, and here, in my production environment, you can see that the Barcelona warehouse has 405 units of brisket available. If I go, and I look in my staging environment, you can see it only has 305. You'll be able to use that number to see the result of the copy, because we're going to be copying this data from production into staging, so that we are testing our entire migration process using production data. We're doing this because sometimes patterns in production data exist that don't always exist in test data, and those patterns can sometimes cause migrations and new versions of applications to fail in unexpected ways. If that happens, we want to discover it in our staging environment well before we ever reach production. My barbecue restaurant chain is opening a new warehouse location. The new warehouse is going to be located in Boston, Georgia. Unfortunately, we have a warehouse in Boston, Massachusetts. As you can see, right now we just store the city name for our location. Because of this, we need to introduce a new database migration and update our schema to support this new warehouse. The way we're going to do this while ensuring zero downtime for our application is several steps. First, we're going to introduce two new columns, one named city, another named state. And we're going to update the existing location column so that as any new value comes in, they just get assigned a new globally unique identifier. We're going to keep the existing column intact so that the old version or the new version of the application can both work against the new schema. We're then going to set up some triggers so that any updates to either column updates the other set. This ensures that, again, any edits that are happening sync between the two different versions of the schema. Lastly, we're going to go ahead and add a new record for Boston, Georgia, the new warehouse location that we are opening. When I commit this change, Harness is going to automatically detect it and kick off my pipeline. As you can see, my pipeline just started running. Let me go ahead and click in and I'll give you an overview of what's going on with this deployment. We're going to start by scaling down the staging database and migrating all the data that is in production into our pre-production environment. When you're testing with production data, it's very important that the environment you're testing in meets all the same data safeguards as your production environment. You wouldn't want to accidentally move your data somewhere that is not secure. Now that we've finished scaling down the database, we've started the migration and we're waiting for it to finish. Once it finishes, we will start back up the database instance, wait for it to start, and then we'll move on to migrating the database. We have a decent amount of data on our server, so I'm going to fast forward a little while the copy finishes. My database has finished starting, Harness has automatically moved on and started migrating the database schema to the new version. While that runs, let me show you the staging environment. As you can see here, staging now has a quantity of 405 for brisket in Barcelona. This indicates clearly that our copy of the production data has finished, and thus the migration we're running now, as well as any and all additional testing we do in our staging environment, is going to be leveraging this production data. This ensures that any data-specific conditions that we would hit in production, we're going to hit first in staging. This will help keep production safe and stable. For our database schema migration, Harness Database DevOps starts by recording a snapshot of the state of the database as it exists before the start of the deployment. This is useful for audit purposes. It then reaches out to Git and grabs the desired state of the database. Harness compares that state to the running database and computes exactly what SQL is going to be run. It then runs that SQL through Harness's governance engine to ensure that all of those SQL commands are permitted to be run. This can be leveraged to prevent developers from doing things such as dropping data in production. We just finished applying the specific changes to the schema. 
After we finished our migration, we sent an event to DB Marlin to let it know that this change has occurred in our infrastructure. This allows it to correlate the events made by our CI-CD pipeline to our monitoring data. When I look over here in DB Marlin, I can see that the database migration definitely didn't introduce any negative performance side effects. In fact, it looks like the database might be running faster now than it did before. This pipeline is now waiting for manual approval before it deploys the new version of the application. The new version of the application leverages the additional columns that we just introduced. Right now, we've still got the old version running. So I'm going to go ahead and issue the approval and deploy the new version of the application as well. The new version of the application is now rolling out. To deploy the new version, we're leveraging Harness CD, which is just doing a deploy to Kubernetes. Once it finishes, we'll go back to DB Marlin and we'll see again whether or not there has been any negative performance impact of the new version of the application. Now that I've deployed both the new version of my application as well as my schema migration, let me check how my performance metrics are doing in DB Marlin. In DB Marlin, it looks like we are spending significantly more time on queries than we were before we updated the schema. Each event throughout the pipeline sent what was happening to DB Marlin. So here we can see that we deployed the new version of the database schema. It does not appear that that's the cause of our recent slowdown. Here we can see the new version of the application that we deployed, and it correlates pretty well to the new slow queries. In DB Marlin, we can scroll down and take a look at the expensive queries and ask it to give us some optimization guidance. DB Marlin's recommending that we take a look at the indexes and make sure we have the right indexes needed for our query. Similarly, I can run a time comparison report that compares the old and the new version. Here in the comparison report, we can see that after the change, what previously was taking 17 seconds is now taking 56 seconds. It's also increased our average execution time in addition to our totals. We can also scroll down and click in to see exactly what statements are running. Now I've got an index change ready to go that's going to fix this problem. This change is going to go ahead and change out the primary key as well as add some additional indexes. These indexes are being added on new columns that are being used for joining two tables that were not used or necessary for the old version of the application. After I commit this change, it will run through the same CI-CD pipeline. Once this deploys out, we will have fixed our database performance problem. In the meantime, I want to call out that because we're doing all of this testing and staging, we have not impacted our production environment, even though we were testing with production data. Once these database changes finish deploying, I'll show you the status over in DB Marlin. Let me go ahead and pull up the pipeline execution. Once it finishes, I'll fast forward and show you the result. Harness just finished running the same pipeline to run my additional database migration that added the needed indexes. Let's go see if those indexes have the desired effect. Now that the new database update has been deployed, you can see that we're spending even less time on query execution than we were before. This is because of the indexes we added. DB Marlin allows you to easily correlate all of the changes, so here we can easily see what indexes were added and the particular git commit SHA for the update to the database. Similarly, if we come back here, we can see that what originally introduced our slowdown was a code release of the service as opposed to the database. If we go back to the database deploy, you can see that it did not make the queries noticeably slower. Similarly, if I pull back up the time comparison report, we can see the impact there as well. Now, instead of the new version of my application making the database slower than it was before the change, the database is in fact now faster than it ever was before. Just like I could before, I can still scroll down to see the details of these changes. Now that I know my change is working as desired, I can move on, promote it to production, and ship the new version of my application. We've covered several things during this demo. We've covered how you can leverage production data in order to test in a non-production environment to catch issues earlier. We've covered how you can incorporate database schema migrations into your CI-CD pipeline so that you can automatically validate them and automatically deploy them alongside the updates to the application that they support. We've also covered how you can leverage database monitoring in order to analyze the impact of these changes and how you can correlate events from the Harness CI-CD platform over to their impact within a database monitoring solution. If you'd like to learn more about how Harness can help you leverage data within your CI-CD pipeline, please reach out to Harness to learn more. We've provided details in the description.